Hey, what's up guys, Steven here and greetings from Quebec City in Canada. So as you might know, I'm traveling around Canada with my girlfriend and I'm also shooting some videos on the go. Well, it's really important to have a good battery because it's freezing cold here and even more important is to have plenty of storage because 4K recording fills up your memory in no time. But a micro SD card is not a micro SD card. So in today's episode of The Truth About, we'll have a close look at the numbers which are printed on the package of micro SD cards and also answer the question if or how it's even possible to speed up your smartphone with a micro SD card. So let's go. Work and travel, something which a lot of people want to do, but it's actually harder than most people think, especially when you need to edit videos on the go. Now time is money and I have absolutely no time for waiting hours to copy my footage. Now SanDisk has released the latest A1 standard micro SD cards, which are capable of up to 100 MB per second read and 90 MB per second write speeds, which is amazing for such a small card and even outperforms my regular SD cards. But how does this affect your daily life? As I've told you before, I'm filming most of my scenes on the go with my Galaxy Note 8, because the camera is really amazing, but 4K fills up your memory in no time. Luckily, the Note 8 is still one of the smartphones which supports expandable storage with microSD cards, but when it comes to buying a microSD, you should not buy the cheapest one you can find. Let me tell you why. SD and microSD cards have had several different speed rating categories. You see them in those small symbols and numbers on the cards and the packaging. If you ever try to format an older microSD card as an internal storage on your compatible Android phone, you might have encountered a pop-up message saying that your regular microSD card is too slow and its performance would suffer. Now that's a huge inconvenience when your smartphone doesn't have sufficient storage space for huge games or apps. It may work, but then you get incredibly long loading times. Since Android 6, it's again possible to easily swap games or larger apps to your microSD card and you will usually find that option in the app settings of your phone for each app. All of those are categories where the card is rated to meet or exceed a minimum threshold for sustained sequential write speeds. So basically that means they can keep up with a certain amount of data being recorded to them constantly. The obvious case where that comes into place when recording high definition or ultra high definition like 4K video. The higher the quality and the bitrate that the camera wants to record at, the faster the card needs to be to keep up with the stream of data coming at it. Now that's why using a card that is too slow in a 4K camera like my Panasonic GH4 will cause lockups or simply won't even start recording. But can a fast SD card actually speed up your device? The theory is simple. Get a faster hard drive and your desktop computer boots faster, runs faster, saves faster and opens files faster. Now hard drives use rotating media and we don't have those in our phones. We use solid state media for both storing the US, so the ROM, and for supplemental storage like micro SDHC cards. Just like hard drives which come in various speeds, also SD cards have different speeds too. When you get a new SD card you will see all sorts of claims on the package about the card's read and write speeds. Now forget about the actual rating for a moment because you need to know that your phone will never be able to read data from the card or write data to the card as fast as the package says. Now those numbers are just theoretical maximums that happen under perfect conditions and I can verify that with my speed tests and different smartphones that you will never likely be able to reach those speeds. However, the result with the new A1 SD card is still incredibly fast compared to cheap micro SD cards. Also, you should know that the write speed is much more important than the read speed and it's usually also a lower value than the read speed. So make sure to check this important value. So let me tell you why. Now for apps, it's simple. Put your apps on a slow SD card means slow loading speeds. Put them on a fast SD card means that you get super fast loading speeds because of the higher read speeds. However, it gets more tricky when we talk about camera performance. Most of our smartphones support 4K recording or burst shots and your phone's camera has what's called a buffer, 
When you take a picture or video, the images and the metadata and the sound are all copied to that buffer because it's really fast to put them into this memory. The buffer then writes all the data to the storage and if you're using an SD card for camera storage, those wait times come into play. So with a fast SD card you will be able to take more burst photos in sequence, that means less of them will be blurry. The faster the picture can move from the buffer to the SD card, the more free space is in the buffer for the camera to drop photos into. So when the buffer is full, your camera can't do anything and now it's time for the SD card to write as fast as possible. 4K video will just look better with a faster SD card. 4K video files are huge and the data is pulled from the buffer a little differently. Since you were doing something live and in real time, waiting for a buffer to flush isn't an option. Now the movement from the camera buffer to the SD card is more like streaming video or a direct file copy. When you can't pull data from the buffer fast enough, you get fussy video, poor sound, skipped frames or audio and video not synchronizing very well. While 4K video is best when written to the phone storage, you can get this done with a fast A1 SD card, but probably it's not working with a slow SD card. Well now that's why it makes sense to buy not the cheapest SD on the market, and also keep your hands off fake micro SD cards. Yes exactly, there are fake SD cards, especially on eBay or Alibaba. Any of today's counterfeit micro SD cards have much less actual storage than advertised. For example, a card may have as little as 8GB of actual storage space, but the label on it may read 64GB. Even worse, the device may also see it as a 64GB SD card. So there are some firmware hacks which are really common practice and allow this to happen. In fact, your device can still and will try to write data to the gigs that don't exist. This will either overwrite existing data or result in an error. Do not buy this from Wish, eBay or Alibaba. It will cause you to lose your data. I bought a fake SD card once and it stopped writing after 4 gigs and it was overwriting my data and everything was gone. So always buy SD cards from a certified retailer or verified Amazon shops. That will save you a lot of money and also save your data. But can a micro SD card actually speed up your phone? Well, on most mid to high end smartphones, the internal memory is always faster than any micro SD. Even though the new A1 card reaches 1500 IOPS for read and 500 IOPS for write but you can actually speed up your phone if you have a low budget phone with a reasonably good memory controller and you can definitely speed up your phone if you have your apps on a slow micro SD and you swap it with an A1 card. Loading times will be way faster due to the best in class read speeds. So a micro SD can help you to improve performance, but don't believe all the high numbers you can find on the package. All right guys, so we're now here at the end of this episode of The Truth About. I really hope that you liked it. And the main message is actually, do not cheap out on SD cards, especially micro SD cards or SD cards for 4K recording. Because in the end, it will cause you more troubles than the actual money you save. Especially if you do record 4K, if you buy a slow SD card, you will end up with um, fuzzy video or probably the camera will just stop recording. Also keep your hands off fake micro SD cards, which you can find on eBay, Alibaba or Wish. I really don't understand why those marketplaces tolerate those scam sellers. Actually, those SD cards are just made to scam people. They do not have the full capacity. They have like 8 or 16 or maybe even 32 gigabytes. But after that amount is reached, they will just stop recording. So you will get an error message or they will just overwrite your existing data causing you again a lot of troubles and losing your data and losing your money. At this point, also big thanks to SanDisk for making this video possible. And they also sent me two of those USB SSDs. So it's the Extreme Pro USB 3.1 and they are extremely fast, up to 420 megabytes per second read and 380 writes. For sure, as I've told you before, 
you don't reach dead numbers, they are just theoretical maximums. But if you have USB 3, they're actually fast enough to edit the whole video, which you can see right here. So all the files were stored on this USB drive and I've edited the whole video from it. And it's pretty good because it's really fast. And my notebook has a lot of SSDs, but to be honest, I don't have a lot of storage because SSDs are really expensive. So for traveling, this USB drive is actually really awesome. All right, guys, I hope that you liked this episode of The Truth About. If you liked it, please like it. If you have any questions regarding SD cards, speeds, what to buy, post them down below in the comments and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day.